get ready for the dictation dictation will start in 5 seconds start mr vice chairman the minister of railways has given us some impressive figures regarding route mileage the number of passenger trains that run every day the number of goods trains that run every day the number of millions of passengers who travel by train he has tried to compare them in view of the vastness of the country the large number of passenger trains being run the large number of goods trains being run and the big route mileage he has tried to show how the that the number of accidents that have occurred is not quite alarming i do not know what his idea was when he tried to compare the number of accidents against this background committees have been appointed when serious accidents took place to find out why such and such accident took place the sahanawaj committee which was appointed in 1956 gave a very voluminous report there in they had stated the cause of accidents that occurred during the period before and they had also suggested some preventive measures the government have again appointed another committee headed by dr kunjuru it is more than 8 months or so i do not know why an interim report has not been submitted by this committee it would have been better at least for discussion on such an important subject like this if that committee had submitted an interim report we could have offered more constructive suggestions unfortunately the committees that are appointed take their own time to submit their reports maybe the government is partly responsible for they may not be cooperating with the committee in giving all the material that is necessary for the committee to come to some sort of conclusions and give their findings on such an important question time and again we have discussed this question of accidents and i was really pained to see how the minister tried to minimize the seriousness of the railway accidents he also quoted in the other houses the figures the number of accidents that are taking place 
in other countries particularly america and england the conditions that are obtaining in these countries and that are obtaining in india are totally different there many of the accidents take place not because of follies not because of the limitations under which those railways work but mostly because of the environment that there has been in those countries full stop